Hello everyone, welcome back again to FN Engineering channel. Today, we are going to describe a material regarding design radiography and joint efficiency in pestle vessels. Previously, we have described the material regarding welded joint category and welded joint types in pressure vessel referred to VSME Section 8 Division 1. If you don't see yet the video, I recommend you to see the video first because this video will be related to our previous video. Before we continue, please support this channel by like our video and subscribe FN Engineering channel. Alright, here are our outline explanation. First, we will learn regarding types of design radiography, including full radiography, spot radiography, and no radiography. After that, we will briefly explain regarding the type of marking radiography in pestle vessels, referred to SME section 8 division 1, such as RT1, RT2, RT3 and RT4. Finally, we will try to solve the study case regarding design radiography and joint efficiency in pestle vessels. First of all, we are going to discuss the design radiography, especially vessel design by full radiography. We use paragraph UW11A for the reference. There are some requirements for pressure vessel which have to be designed by full radiography. If one of the requirements is applied to pressure vessel, the vessel should be designed by full radiography. The requirements are vessel contains little composition or vessel contains steam having design pressure exceeding 350 kPa or 50 psi. Moreover, when the joint in press of vessel exceeds 38 mm or 1.5 inch. In addition, vessel that exceeding welded joint thickness as per UCS 57, UNF 57, UHA 33, UCL 35, or UCL 36. Then, Material which specified as per UHT 57, ULW 55, ULW 52D, ULW 54, or ULT 57 has to be fully radiography. The other requirement is the vessel using the welding process by electrogas exceeding 38 mm or electroslate. Lastly, vessels are designed by user or customer using full radiography. In addition, there are some types or category designed by full radiography. For instance, all but well joints in the shell and head, all but joints in the nozzle communicating chamber except as required by UHT 57A. For information, the ultrasonic examination may be substituted for full radiography as per UW 53. Regarding the marking of radiography, full radiography is possible marked by RT1 or RT2. For detail regarding marking radiography will be explained in the next slide. The next presentation is spot radiography. For this design, we use paragraph UW11B for the reference. Actually, there are two requirements for spot radiography. First, the vessel are not required to be fully radiography, as per UW11A. The other requirement is but weld location only for type number one and type number 2. Moreover, the possible marking for spot radiography is RT3. 
The last type of radiography is no radiography. We can use paragraph UW11C for the reference. A vessel that is designed for external pressure only can be designed by no radiography. In addition, if we use no radiography, the joint efficiency have to comply with table UW12. For your information, no radiography does not use marking radiography in the nameplate. Next, we are going to discuss regarding marking of radiography. The use reference is UG116 in SME section 8 division 1. There are four types of marking, namely RT1, RT2, RT3, and RT4. RT1, that is vessel satisfies the full radiography requirement as per UW11A. Then, RT2. RT2 is vessel satisfy the full radiography requirement as per UW11A and apply spot, apply spot radiography requirements as per UW11A5B. Next, RT3. That is, vessel satisfies the spot radiography requirements as per UW11B. The last is RT4, that is parts of the vessel that have satisfied the radiography requirements as per UW11A or none of the marking RT1, RT2, or RT3 are applicable. Now, turn on to the study case. In this case, we are going to determine the joint category, joint type, and joint efficiency of all joint in pressure vessel. For joint efficiency, we will determine the value of different markings, including RT1, RT2, RT3, and RT4. Here is the sketch illustration of pressure vessel. We use some labels, the rectangular label for the joint location, and the circular label for the nozzle identifier. There are 15 joints, joint number 1 to number 15. For information, joint number 15 is a seamless nozzle, so there is no welding for joint number 15. Meanwhile, we use some nozzle, such as nozzle A with NPS 24 schedule XS or strong and the surface for a main way. Then nozzle B with NPS 12 schedule strong as process inlet. Nozzle C and G using NPS 6 inch and schedule 80. Nozzle D using NPS 10 and schedule 80. Nozzle E using NPS 4 inch and schedule 80. Nozzle F as boot or communicating chamber using NPS 36 inch. The last is nozzle V as drain using NPS 2 inch and schedule extra strong. Meanwhile, the vessel has some dimension such as inside diameter 84 inch, cell thickness 0.75 inch, Good thickness a half inch, ellipsoidal head and hemish particle head thickness using 0.75 inch. Alright, first of all, we determine the joint category. We have detail described in the first video regarding the welding. We are going to look for joint category A. In general, category A is a longitudinal joint any welding joint in head or circumferential joint between shell to hemispherical head. So, the joint identifier for category A is number 1, number 4, number 5, number 6, number 7, and number 15. Next, 
we find the category B or circumferential join. The join including category B are join number 2, number 3, number 8, and number 9. We have to be careful. Number 6 is included category A because it join circumferential join between shell to hemispherical head. Next, we are going to find the category C or connecting flange to others such as join number 11 and join number 14. The last is category D or connecting nozzle or communicating chamber to the main shell or communicating chamber like join number 10, join number 12, and join number 13. Yes, we have solved the join category. The next question is to determine the type, the join type. Based on table UW12, there are 8 types of joints. We have described in the second video or previous video. We start from the easiest join, nozzle to shell, using fillet weld or join type number 7. The type for join identifier number 10, 12, and 13. Then, join identifier number 1 to 7 and number 15 are join type number 1. What are the joints or join type number 2? In addition, joint identifier number 14 is joint type number 3 for all RT except RT1. Moreover, joint identifier number 7 can use joint type number 2 for RT2, RT3, and RT4. For information, each joint may be possible having limitation as per UW12. Here is the limitation for all join identifiers. Alright, we are going to the next question, namely design radiography and join efficiency. Based on marking radiography RT1, RT2, RT3, and RT4. First of all, we determine design radiography and join efficiency for vessel using RT1. RT1, that is vessel satisfies the full radiography requirements UW11A. For joint type number 1 and 2 is full radiography. So, the joint efficiency is 1 for joint number 1, for joint type number 1, and 0 0.9 for joint type number 2. and category C exempt from radiography because the nozzle size does not exceed NPS 10 nor thickness 29 mm. For joint type number 7, radiography is not available but if you need the joint efficiency, you can use 1 for the joint efficiency value. Next. We evaluate the joint efficiency and radiography for RT2. RT2 is satisfied the requirement of UW11A and applied the spot radiography as per UW11A5B. The design radiography and value of joint efficiency are the same as RT1, but joint identifier number 2 and number 3 use spot radiography as per UW11A5B so the joint efficiency is 0.7 the next marking is RT3 or vessel satisfied the spot radiography requirements of UW11B 
We also use the UW52 requirement about the location of spot radiography. Based on UW52, spot radiography is only used joint identifier number 1, number 3, number 4, <coughs> and number 6. Here are detailed design radiography and joint efficiency. We use the value from table UW12. We use the column spot radiography. The last type is RT4 or parts of the vessel has satisfied the radiography requirement of UW11A and apply spot radiography UW52. In addition, none of the marking RT1, RT2, or RT3. Here are detailed design radiography and joint efficiency. If we compare RT2 and RT4, the design radiography and joint efficiency are similar, but the joint identifier number 2 and number 3 have 0 0.85 joint efficiency because we use additional spot radiography for this joint to increase the value of joint efficiency all right we have solved the study case of value joint category by the joint type design radiography and the joint efficiency all right everyone thank you for watching my video if you have some comments or suggestion, please write on the comment column. And if you get something new from this video, please like my video, subscribe to my channel, share this video or channel to others, and turn on the notification from this channel to get updated video from FN Engineering channel. See you next time!